Hi everyone, Ashley here and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I've got another speed card making video for you, showing supplies from Waffle Flower, Lawn Fawn, and of course Distress Oxide Ink Blending, which if you've watched any of my videos you know is pretty much my favorite technique for card making. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm starting out by stamping these cute images from the Waffle Flower Wedding Stamp Set. And this is just a little bride and groom and some birds and then a horse and carriage which I don't end up using for the card which you probably notice in the thumbnail. Um, but this is something I do a lot where I stamp out whatever images I think I might need and then if I don't end up using them that's fine, I'll save them for another card. So I stamp those out onto some Nina Solar White paper which is a beautiful Copic friendly paper using some Copic friendly ink and in this case it was Lawn Fawn and Jet Black ink. I'm coloring these images in with my Copic markers, and I'm using my typical technique for this. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know this. <laughs> Basically, I like to lay down a dark color first and then blend it out with a light color, then go back with a dark color to add really an extra dimension of shadow. And this works really well for small images like this because there's not that much space for different colors. A lot of people like to use three colors for blending with Copics, a medium, a dark, and a light. And this does work a lot too, um, especially for bigger images. But I really like for smaller images, you can almost get that three layer look just with two different colors by going in again with the dark color at the end. So by starting with the dark color, then blending it out with the light, then going back with the dark color at the end, you add an extra layer of dark dimension that really stands out. And I really like the way that that ends up looking. So for the bride, I just colored in her dress with a few little light gray colors just to give some shadowy accents because of course I wanted the dress to be white. <laughs> I colored her flowers in with some pink and blue and then now I'm coloring in the carriage with some wood toned brown colors as well as the horse with just a couple different shades of brown. For the birds, I also used a couple just light gray tones as shadow because I wanted them to be white birds as well. So whenever there's something white, I like to just add a little bit of light gray as a shadow just to give a little bit of extra dimension rather than leaving them just flat white. For the background panel, I wanted it to be this kind of magical blue and pink sky. So I'm using some blending brushes here to blend on some Distress Oxide inks in Tumble Glass for the blue and Spun Sugar for the pink. And these are just really beautiful, very pale Distress Oxide colors. And they just give that really nice light um, background effect. It wouldn't be a background that I'm doing without adding a bit of ink splatter. So I did take a white pearlescent watercolor pan um, put some water into it and then splattered it out using an acrylic block and a paintbrush and then you get this beautiful shiny effect that you see here. And I really like sort of the randomness of the paint splatter and just how beautiful and shiny it ends up looking. This is a wedding card so I wanted the sentiment to be congrats. So I used a Lawn Fawn stamp set for that scripty congrats. And, I'm and then I decided that I wanted it to be embossed. So I stamped it out in Versamark ink, and now I'm just putting some Stampin' Up! gold embossing powder onto it, and just wiping away any excess little pieces of the powder that were kind of randomly stuck there using a paintbrush. And then I can heat set it with my heat tool, and then it becomes this beautiful, like, metallic, shiny congrats sentiment. And I went ahead and cut it out with the coordinating dies that come with the set. I also used the coordinating dies to cut out the same sentiment from a piece of foam. So then I'm able to just use some liquid glue to glue down the embossed sentiment onto that foam layer and give it a little bit of extra dimension. I'm just using an acrylic block to really make sure that they're adhered nicely down together. For the background of the card, I decided to use this fun rainbow pattern from a Lawn Fawn pattern paper set. And by the way, if you're curious about any of the supplies that I'm using in this video, just go check out the description box below this video. It actually contains a list of all the supplies that I'm using in today's video. So you don't have to remember them as I'm saying them out loud. To finish off this scene here, I actually went ahead off camera and die cut some clouds using some white sparkle cardstock and the Lawn Fawn Puffy Cloud Border Die, as well as that grass with just a nice piece of light green cardstock and a hillside border die. So once I've glued all those pieces together, I just put them onto some fun foam to give the whole piece a bit of extra dimension and then put it onto the card base. I wanted to add some sparkle to the wedding dress, so I just put some glue on her little dress and covered it with some Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter. 
And then once you just dab it off, anything that's not stuck to the glue will just come right off. And what's left is the glitter that's stuck to her dress with glue, which is really, really pretty. And that Jackie glitter really gives a beautiful effect when you turn the card in the light. Um, it almost looks like a rainbow sparkly effect, which is really, really beautiful. I'm then using a combination of glue and foam squares to adhere all the rest of the elements onto the card, and there you have it. So that is the final card for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my cards, definitely head over to my Instagram account, which is linked down in the description below. And in case you didn't know, I do post videos here to YouTube at least once a week. So if not before, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!